Yeah, you know what that is. That right there is a creeper hole. Um, at the end of the last episode, I had kind of walked through my, my little sheep area here and uh, stood right over here in this corner um, and then finished editing my video. And while I was doing that, a creeper came over, blew me straight up and I didn't realize it. Everything despawned and now I am left with 10 chicken. Um, and that's it. So, you know, not, not a great way to start this episode, but uh, I'm going to go and rebuild <laughs> all my equipment. I do have the other stuff um, in, in my house over here, but that's all fire protection, um, which is great for the nether, but not really what I want typically. Oh, and I've got to collect my sheep too, which are now all out and about. I'm not even sure where. Um, so yeah, that, that'll be, that'll be a thing this morning and, um, I'll get to it and be back soon. I think we should go ahead and get this fixed. I haven't replaced my armor yet. I'm just using my did you die armor, but, uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Come on in, sheep. Definitely. What the? Oh. <laughs> get back down here. Come on. Get back down here. I feel like I need, like, a white sheep in here as well. Who did I have before? Maybe a gray one? I don't remember. You got some wear and tear there, bud. Hey there, bud. Let's see if we can't, um, get you all fixed up here. I really have a ton of iron left, but always good enough for a weird herald. There you go. All right, we'll put this stuff back. And then I think I want to try to get a couple villagers down by the zombie spawner. Um, so that I can use them to trade em uh, emeralds. <laughs> I don't know why that was so tough to say. And... Um, you know, another source of experience and emeralds down there. I think it'll be super handy. So, are you, are you stuck there? Do you need a push? No, not enough. I don't, I don't think he knows where he is. Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Oh, you're in mine cards. Is that helpful or? I don't think that's helpful. Okay, let's put a couple boats out here. Ever so carefully break these. And then perhaps lure them up. Perfect. And the other one. I've got, uh, I've got more if you need it. There you go. Nice. Oh, you guys got in the same boat. <laughs> okay. All right. We got one over there. And we will get... One there. I'm sure, this will only take a second. All right, go get that. Here you go. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Okay. Um, hope you don't mind. I'm gonna push you in a hole here. Uh, that was really close. Get back over here. Okay, right there. Right there. That's yours now. Yep, right on top. Perfect. Huh. Well, that's that. Now, <laughs> we're gonna try to do the same thing again. I know, buddy. We're going. Don't you worry. We got speed on our side. We're practically there. They see me rolling. They hate it. Yep. I know this is a super fun ride, right? Can I pull the boat up these? Yeah, no, sure can't. Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Huh. Did you see that? I can do it. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, I broke it that time, hold on. Only a couple more stairs there, guy, come on. Yeah, oh, 
you found it. Nice. Okay, so we don't have to worry about this after all. Get in there. Get in there, it's your favorite. They always make it so weird, like I'm gonna throw them in a hole or something, you know? Oh, stupid spot for a thing. Boink. Okay. Let's get you, no? Um, you should come over here instead. Really sorry about that, guys. All right, so here's a bit of a fun game that I have to play. I need one zombie out of these to go attack my villagers, not me, and I need to block this up before more zombies fall so I don't create an absolute, absolute, absolute cluster. We actually get a third zombie villager there. Guess I don't know why I wouldn't, really. Okay, break that. Break that. Oh man. What the what the heck? There you are. So I need that. Let's break that. Get out there. Come on. Okay. Alright, All right, we got him. Come over here. Have a go. Get him. <laughs> He's so mad at me right now. <laughs> okay. We lob a potion. Okay. Let's see how this works out. Get over there. Dude, you are going to cause me some trouble, aren't you? There you go. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Okay, so you guys are <laughs> all in there. Oh man, this is such a pain in the butt. What's going on? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to another episode. As you can see, I have um, more or less rebuilt my equipment. My bow is missing uh, infinity, and this sword is actually stolen from my Did You Die kit, so I'm going to have to replace that at some point. But the rest of my stuff is uh, its pretty much rebuilt. I think with only... Like, I need Depth Strider 3 on my boots, but um, otherwise it's all in, in pretty good shape. Finished up the backside of the um, sort of sheep farm here, added a little garden over on this side, and filled in that creeper hole. Uh, so that's good. I also ran around and found all my sheep and got them back in here. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty big mistake. <laughs> that's alright though. So in this episode, I think what I want to do is finish up the interior of the farmhouse itself. Um, and get us a villager in here and then um, maybe build the automatic sheep farm or wool farm rather um, down underneath this build um, to uh, start collecting some actual wool which will be handy all right we've got our interior done I don't know if these are going to prevent the villagers from walking by but um, I think this looks okay for now it's Fairly simple, just a little, you know, stove slash oven kind of thing. A um, little bit of detailing, nothing, nothing too, uh, too fancy. And then upstairs, just a, a quick little bedroom with a little reading area. I put two looms in here. I think I'm going to try to get um, two villagers in this house. I don't know how much space they're actually going to have, but I think, uh, I think they'll fit okay. We'll see. And then, of course, um, they'll be able to access outside. So that they can wander around here with their sheep. Um, this is illuminated fairly well. I don't think that we should have any problems with like uh, with zombies or anything like that. Um, but we can keep an eye on it just in case. And um, now it's time to build our automatic sheep farm. Let's do it. All right, I just popped over to my creative test world to show you the design that I'm going to be using. I'm not going to go through a block by block tutorial on this here, but if you do want one, let me know and I'll throw it up on the channel. 
Um, this is a very simple and quick design that I've been using, I don't know, forever. Um, it's really, really quick and easy. The sheep is in the middle. He's standing on one block of glass. The observer looks at the glass, the glass, the grass. There we are. And as soon as the sheep eats the grass, the observer sends a red a redstone pulse into this dispenser that is full of shears and that shears the sheep. Um, it's collected by a hopper mine cart and dumped right into this chest. So really, really simple uh, and really effective. Um, the grass regrows pretty quickly with the amount of grass blocks that are around it. And then, um, you can have, you know, another sheet module every other block. So it, it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, maybe a little bit more than, oh, he's going to demonstrate for us. There you go. There you have it. And that falls right down into this, uh, chest here. So really nice little design. Just thought I'd show you. Now I've got to go build a giant hole. <laughs> this is a lovely hole. Get out of the damn bush. Oh no, my sheep is gonna die in a berry. Oh my God, you died in a bush. I don't care which hole you go in, just go in a hole. There we go. That is the start of a woolly empire. You are light blue. Go ahead and eat. Go ahead. Don't be bashful about it. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You eat too. Thank you. No, you eat. Eat. You're a stubborn one. You are a stubborn one. Ah. I knew you'd do it. All right, that is one wool farm complete. This video was a little all over the place. It didn't really start the way I had uh, kind of expected that it would, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.